The new mission statement you wrote for Chandler Enterprises is incredible. The entire company is being reborn. We still have a long way to go. What, 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 what does this have to do with me helping you? Because of your vision, this company is going in an entirely different direction, a positive direction. And that is all because of you, Scott. And I was hoping you could do the same thing for me. Write you a new mission statement? Help me redefine myself. My goals, my priorities, my purpose. That way, when I get the stupid ankle monitor off, mm. I will be reborn, too. What do you say? I, I'm, I'm committed to helping Chandler and Uncle Adam in any way that I can. Yes! But, but, oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. You won't forget this. Okay, 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 okay. Um, um, I care about Uncle Adam. I do. And, 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 and I want him to be happy. But <clears throat> you and me, this, this, this cannot happen. Okay, we, we're, we're, we're roomies. <laughs> That's it. I never thought of us as anything else. <sighs> that right there. If you want to become a better person, step one, stop with all the games. I gave you a hug, Scott. I hug all my friends. What is it that you are so afraid of? Shouldn't you be at the office? You can't just leave the hospital without telling anyone. If I were any other patient, I'd have been released by now. You're not any other patient. You're my daughter. I'm an adult. Who just underwent major surgery. Well, then maybe we should be speaking to the doctor who actually performed the surgery. You freaked out in the operating room. Jake had to save her life. Yeah, don't. David, please just leave us alone. All right, look, if you're not going to listen to me as your father, then at least listen to me as a doctor. You should be resting, not running around town with this jackass. You've kept me prisoner in the hospital long enough. I'm done. All right, okay, fine. Then come home with me. Thanks, but I have my own place right here at the Yacht Club. What if you wake up in pain in the middle of the night? Who's going to take care of you? Um, I will. <laughs> You know, Marissa needs someone who has her best interests at heart, not a moron who removes her from critical care so we can have someone to party with. Tell me, Junior, how many of you tossed back so far today? JR is sober. Oh, what? Come on, give me a break. Look at him. He's breaking into a sweat just sitting here. That's called withdrawal, Marissa. I mean, come on, you're just dying for a drink, aren't you, Junior? No, you know what I'm dying to do is crack you in the face. And if you don't get the hell out of here, I will. <laughs> Look at you. You can't even stand, let alone throw a punch. You want to bet? Okay, you two want what's best for me? Then stop before I bust my stitches strangling you both. And we were just brainstorming ways now that, you know, the, the company's back on track to keep the, the momentum going, mm. you know? Yes, the quarterlies are quite encouraging. Yeah. And I mean, everyone else is pitching in. I thought it's time for me to do my part. So we were, you know, thinking of utilizing ways to uh, utilize our time and our resources and all that. You probably th both think I'm insane for uh, sinking a small fortune into a uh, casino, <laughs> but it's paying off even as we speak. You just gave Slater the money. How could you be seeing a return so fast? Slater and Lavery um, are at each other's throats. That gives me the upper hand. I haven't even cashed the check yet. And that loan is going to put us back into a position of power. I thought the new Chandler Enterprises was about helping people hope for the future. I thought it wasn't about greed and power. You sound like Scott. <laughs> well, I take that as a compliment. <laughs> He's a smart man. I'm sure there are many things Scott could teach me. Well, perhaps you two should um, put your heads together uh, more often. <laughs> I'd like that. Well, Adam's right. I should be back at the office. Not sure what you're talking about. Kendall and I slept together, and you are out for revenge. Sam. If I wanted revenge, I'd already have it. You moved out, man. Your marriage was over, all right? You did God knows what with Reese and the idea that Kendall did anything. 
but sit in a corner and cry over you, it kills you, man. It kills you to know that what she needed was me. Are you done? I'm going to check on the boys. What's worse, Zach, knowing that I helped Kendall through something that you couldn't or knowing that you will never get over it? All right, guys, why don't we just leave all this in the past where it belongs? Are you kidding me, Liza? Zach lives in the past. His grudges last a lifetime. Now, what's the deal with Adam? The deal is what? He bankrolls the casino and then you help Annie get my daughter? Is that what happens? No. Well, then why else would you take a loan from Adam, Zach? I mean, you wanted the man dead. He borrowed money from me before, a lot of money, so I figured he couldn't say no. And I don't believe that. Why don't you just tell him why you're doing this? I think kids should be with their mother. And you get to try and play God one more time and teach me a lesson at the same time. No, that's not it. I'm doing what Kendall wants, and I'm not living in the past. You are. I'm looking to the future, and so is Annie. I'll make sure she has all the happiness she deserves.